So now we're left by ourselves. Huh. Oh. I came from this way. I went that way. Okay. Am I fat rolling? I am. So that's your fat roll, which is your slow roll, apparently. What's your heavy attack on this? Okay. <clears throat> Items also show up on the map. an item. Did I ever get that item? I didn't get it. This game really likes its enemy spam. That's why it's not a good idea to do this solo. Man, this weapon has insane knockback on it. Got a large barge. Where do I get that item? Is that it? What's down here? I only did this like two days ago, this area, and I've forgotten. Nice slime. <clears throat> There's another one. At least they're not as annoying as Dark Souls, where they're really tanky against physical. Vivifier. And stun vaccine. Vivifier is your lost bone shard, basically. Brings you back to the mistle without losing anything. Yeah, some of these enemies are... Like that. <clears throat> They're actually enemies. Oh my god, he's got a sniper. He can't possibly shoot me from there. That's not fair. I know for a fact. My bayonet. My, <clears throat> my bayonet can't shoot that far. <laughs> the projectile fizzles out eventually. Dude, this is sort of strong. What the fuck? I had so much trouble going through this the first time. I'm just two shotting everything. Hi. There's a buff to my regen. Use those whenever I can. <clears throat> oh yeah, in multiplayer you can't use a mistle for some weird reason, and you can't use those when someone's in your game. I don't know why they did that. Kind of strange. Stamina cost. <clears throat> well, I'm out of healing. Hopefully, there's not too many enemies left. They notice me, but they're not doing anything about it. 
<clears throat> I would like to fight them one by one. Broadsword. Is that the item I was looking at before? Might have been. It was. Okay. So we made a loop. Our dude is still lying here. I really like, I know I said this already, but I really like the map. It tells you where you've been. <clears throat> and when you're on a... When you're on a boss fight, like when you're stuck on a boss fight, you just see the entire arena just filled with your footsteps. It's hilarious. That guy's down there, but I'm not going to him yet. Because there's a mistle here. You can level up by spending haze when resting at a mistle. Leveling up increases your health, stamina, and gift power. Got a local pennant. <clears throat> Those are useful later, I think. So let's use my souls. Let's unlock Bloodguard. Wait, is that. No, not, I don't want Bloodguard. I don't want that either. Venom, I like. Venom Mark. Uh, temporarily applies Venom effect to your current weapon. It's probably useful for uh, faster weapons where you can get multiple attacks in, because you need to stack up a debuff before it uh, uh, starts working. Spoil Spotter. Learn whether or not there are uncollected items within a certain range. Now, I don't know if this is good or not. <clears throat> I don't know the range, but items show up on your map anyways. So I have no idea if this is any good. Just stamina consumption from guarding when you are focused. I feel like the focus stuff is just not good. Because I don't know if I get focus a lot or not. Caster, Blazing Roar, and Dark Impulse. Blazing Roar shoots an intense flame at the target. Dark Impulse increases the effect of Dark Gifts when, while you are focused. Again, it's another focused ability. I think I'll just level up for now. So I'm going to try this guy once. There's an item I missed way back there. Okay. A few items, actually. Okay, didn't expect to backstab me. So your train attacks actually change with your heal veil, with your armor. Depending on what type of armor you're using. So the surrounding area is mapped. Queen Slayer Thorn. Let's have a look at that. I have a normal roll now. And this is my train now. This is the power. Interesting. Teleport to the mistle. Okay, I'm just gonna go back. So I can get those items that I apparently missed. What's that red marker here? Thing is, you don't have a legend to tell you what symbols mean what. 
So over here is an item that I missed. It still takes like two shots to kill these things. You just pick it up. Antique coin. I never actually got that before, so I don't know what it is. An item <clears throat> whose value varies wildly depending on who holds it. There's another item here. Geisha noodles. I might unlock uh the ranger ability spoiled spotter maybe it'll be helpful because i actually missed those items but it showed up on the map anyway so i could just grab them all right <clears throat> let's teleport back here so the game's not like incredibly hard to go through by yourself it's just kind of annoying with the amount of enemies they throw at you at some parts We got a dude over here, and he's got a sword. I can ignore him, apparently. But he's story related. <laughs> Why are you like to ignore him? Can I bring an enemy to him? Come with me. Will he do anything if there's an enemy nearby? I wonder. He will not. I'm gonna try and parry him. Parry did not work. <clears throat> I pressed too late. Holy. How early did you have to press it? Is he powerable? I wonder. I kinda wanna do it. Okay, I think that guy's dying. I should stop fighting near him. There is jumping attack, or falling attacks. I missed. And it does decent damage. Alright, finally got the parry off. What's up, dude? You're <laughs> He's a revenant stranger. Don't be afraid to fight with me. Don't be so we get a stranger into our party. I'm gonna go back and heal. So what I noticed the first time is his name is Lewis. I don't think they thought this true. Hey, can I? Let me just... Oh, I can afford it. I'll just tap it for now. Okay, so I'm gonna have this guy follow me. I mean, this first area is not that bad to go through by yourself. <coughs> there's a thing I can drop onto. I forget if there's Even items. Can... Yeah, there's an item here. Oh, 
Like, just having a follower, follower kind of trivializes out some enemies. Because you just unlock stuff. And he also takes the aggro off you. Which is why I'm doing this with a follower this time. <clears throat> He's actually dying. I'm probably gonna just use a follower up until the point I stopped. Just so I can get my pro progress back a bit. Or at least, not to the point I stopped, but to the place on my last playthrough. Don't need to go up there. We were just up there, right? Yeah, we should have been. I've been told this game has three endings. Seems like you can just skip past some of this stuff. Can I hit him? I can't. I don't know if he has healing or if it's limited or what. I swear I had a sword by this point. Maybe I just had a bayonet. I don't talk. How do you expect me? Fill in the details for you. Okay. A chest. There is the sword. So it's like half the damage, but it's faster. And you can get more swings. I should rest at the mistle. What the? The fog just rolls in. Oh man. It, it just comes in. Can't level up. <clears throat> Bosses? Will probably be much easier with a follower too. I mean, the first boss was not difficult, so. Isn't there slimes? I thought there were slimes here. I see that guy. I was trying to. Like, I took two swings and this thing died. I was trying to backstab him. Your follower just murders everything, apparently. Like, does he even have Icar? He just spams the spells, it feels like. <clears throat> I don't really use them because you can get Vicar back from just attacking. Item.
That's where he is. I was wondering where he comes from. Because he's just he just sort sort of appears behind you. I've been down there. I have. Okay. I could just provide support. Backstab. Like the backlighting is so bad. Everything has it. So this flame is incredibly bright, isn't it? And then suddenly it's not so bright. I guess it turns on and off, mostly. I think your camera does affect the brightness of that flame. Got a rotten mistle. Revealing more of the map. So now your map is actually more revealed. <coughs> Wow, he knows when I'm opening my menu. Okay. Also, my mess is right there. <clears throat> Can't use Triple Annihilator. So, I want to swap to Ranger. So, I can do that. Once I unlock <clears throat> Stamina Boost, I can probably use it. Because I don't really need the uh, abilities of the fighter yet. Let me just put this on. Right. I have no idea. Hey, look, it's a person. him. He's got a horn thingy. Oh, so if I don't take him along with me, what happens here, I wonder? Also, I think loss are revenants that have gone basically feral. Oh my god, it's so much easier with an ally. Because I don't take focus. Unless it does that to me. I thought I was far enough away for him to not try and kill me while I healed. It's kind of phase two. Bosses stagger to you, so it's kind of weird when they do. Oh, forgot about that. I don't know what that debuff is that's being stacked on him. I think it's slow. I don't know how that affects enemies. 
But when you're affected by slow, you basically have a worse roll. I got a Juggernaut Sledgehammer. ブジだったか。ところでお前たちはレブナントに定められた義務だ。例外はない。クリスタルが聞いてきた。そいつには触らない方がいい。ファイ。触れたものに侵食し、ロストに変える危険な石だ。ささやきに耳を貸すな。血類がなければ俺たちはその子が落ち着いたらここを離れよう誰かが犠牲になるしかないんだ。So I'm kind of trapped in here. Let's talk to people. 声が聞こえます。she hears a voice. Did her skin color change? Almost looks like it. Anyways, let's pick it up. Let's become a lost. Oh, I'm stabbing me. She's encouraging me while the other dude is telling me not to do it. I also have blue flames now. Oh my god, my hair turned blue. It's a blue lamp. There's so much blue. Konkai大家は勘弁してくれ。それを持っていかれたら、俺は血類を収めるのだ。保護区に住むレブナントに定められた義務だ。例外はない。許せません。Cerberus soldiers. Not like the army. 誰かが犠牲になるしかないんだ。Is there someone in the tree? I don't know what that's just part of the tree. So that's Oliver's memories, I guess. I don't understand that. <clears throat> Revenants seem like really overpowered. They seem really overpowered because they can revive and yeah and they have these powers too while the humans are being protected by silva it seems like according to that or something like that that's what it seems like they are either silva or are protected by silva which means Sil silva is also like abusing the revenants making them collect the blood beads, which I don't understand. Revenants seem more powerful than anything else other than loss. <clears throat> Even with the loss, you can, revenants can beat them. So revenants seem like the strongest thing in this world so far. And why are the humans like, or why is Silva like, I don't know. Why is Silva like just making them collect the 
blood beads as a levy. Because the revenants need them too, right? Maybe Silva is stronger. It's like there's some sort of racism happening here with the revenants. And the blood beads are like a very limited source too, so it seems like because we're searching for them and all. So I guess not everyone can have it, but. There's stuff I don't understand yet still. Also, I don't have shadow. Now I do. What? Why are you guys in here too? Oh, 